Blue Magnum, Blue Steel. I'm wearing the wrong shoes and the wrong bra. Me too. <laughs> Just try to keep the chopped judges out of the kitchen. They live to cook, and we love to let them after hours. What fun this is going to be. We have Chris, Alex, and Jeffrey, and of course, the life of the party, Goathead. No, yeah, look you at know. these guys. Mm. Delicious, delicious. So, in addition to the gift of the goat heads, we also have flaming shiso, bluefoot mushrooms, and chaladiets, a jellied meat dish invented in Russia. So, these ingredients were part of the entree round for our Bazaar Baskets competitors. Now, of course, they are all yours. Do you have any ideas for this weird combination of foods? I have uh, something up my sleeve. Oh, you no. always do. Which quite... sleeve? <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm quite certain, based on history, that we're going to come up with three wildly different ideas though. I think this is a great basket to showcase using ingredients that we might not otherwise think are going to become anything. And I think it's our job to make it great and hopefully delicious. Absolutely. Hopefully. That's a key word there. Hopefully, yes. That's the aspiration. Uh, yeah, this is the one ingredient that I'm not really um, familiar with and it doesn't look that appetizing. I think it looks great. Really? Yeah, I'm yeah. excited about that. Think of that looks cheese. like planet flavor to me. Yeah, I think All of right, well, cheese. That's what it is. Let's see what we can do. Ready to start it up? Yeah. I think so. Let's go. All right, same 30 minutes as always on the clock. Let's start it now. Right behind, 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 behind. Where's the bacon? Do you need bacon? Thank you. That's pretty cool. You know about me, right? Sorry. You got the unpleasant judge. Oh, God. Poor little goat. Oh, poor little goat. Poor little delicious goat. OK, so can you give us an idea, Chris, where you're going? I'm going sandwich, Ted. Sandwich. I'm going sandwich. I, I feel like this could make a really great press sandwich or panini. Okay. It's going to be a goat head au jus. Oh, yeah. With some of the jelly from this jellied meat. So, Chris, I think you're revealing now how much meat really is inside the head of this animal that so many people don't know Look about. Look at this. Look at the tongue. That's Look how beautiful that is. Lean meat, a lot of flavor in there. But here's with the good stuff right here, the cheek. Guanciale? Yeah, that's on, it. On pork, that would be guanciale. Just delicious. So that, that's what I'm really after here is the, is the cheek. The cheek meat. Absolutely. Judges, 20 minutes left on the clock. Oh, my God. Chaladets. Chaladets. Wow, it's so serious in here. You guys do know that no one's getting chopped, right? <laughs> Alice, can you give us an idea of what you're up to here? Yes, I'm making a goat cheek meatball with mayonnaise, goat cheese, chopped up, da 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 da. Chaladiets. 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 I'm having a hell of a time with that. I am taking this wonderful gelatinous cheek meat right off there after I've warmed it, Ted, in a little bit of stock. Okay. To kind of bring it back to life. Alex, I see a juicer on your station. What gives? Yeah, I'm going to juice some carrots and make like a spicy carrot situation. I think this basket needs some freshness and vibrancy. The time. OK, folks, 15 minutes to go. Jeffrey, what you making? Goat hash and uh, eggs. Ah, OK, goat hash. You know, goat is a very difficult little animal. I figured, you know, like, eggs are the new, uh, it's a new protein. OK. Jeffrey's prepping an herb salad, something he really, really loves. Great thing to put on top of an entree. And when you're making a salad at home, sprinkle in some herbs, not just lettuce. Whoa! Jeffrey, don't be such a hothead. Get it? Hothead. All right, friends, 10 minutes left on the clock. Wow. That looks good, doesn't it? That is concentrated. Alex, do you have enough time to get your meatballs cooked? Everything's cooked in them, so I'm just going to warm them up. That's true, isn't it? Now you've got some hot, hot plates behind you. What's all going down with that sauce? Take a taste of this, Ted. Sure, love to. Just how pure it is. Yeah, yeah. Pure and sweet. Anything in here but carrot juice? Yeah, there's some sugar and stuff in there, but yeah, basically. Wow, power. A lot of power in that. So much sweetness. So you'll hit that with some vinegar or something? Absolutely. You know me. I know you. OK, folks, you're looking at five minutes. And panini press getting hot. 
Okay, Chris, we were just talking recently about how a sandwich, a great sandwich, needs a great spread. Yes. Uh, so I've taken that red uh, flaming shisho and combined it just with mayonnaise, um, good old American yellow mustard, a little hot sauce, salt and pepper. Mustard especially is going to complement all this sort of chopped up meat mushroom goodness I have here. Lovely, lovely. Two minutes left on the clock. Hey, Jeffrey, frying the shiso leaves, what's the idea there? The shiso, I think, really is perfect for frying. It's thin, there's not a lot of water in it, so really it's crispy. It's a very hard leaf to get flavor out of, I find. So it's just going to be sort of a garnish element? So. Yeah, but it's crispy and it's fun. Frying greens, is that a way to get your kids to eat their leafy vegetables? My kids eat kale like uh, it's going out of style, but we bake them. Baking is better. And what do you do to get a kid to eat goat heads? You don't tell them. Exactly. All right, folks, it's your final minute. Jeffrey, what do you have left to do? I just got to make sure these eggs are cooked perfectly, and they're not. Who knew eggs took so long? Granny Smith dice, poblano. Oh, my God, that's so pretty. That is so beautiful. All right, chefs, you are down to the wire. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Time is up. Please step back. Gorgeous. Oh, look at that guy. So anybody at home wondering how you could get anything tasty out of that goat head, I mean, look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful. Jeffrey's carrying. What do you got? I made a goat head hash with a Hylodet's vinaigrette on toast with a little fresh herb salad and fried shisha leaf. Yeah, some toast there. Oh, no, so it's just a coffee and mushroom under this. It's kind of fancy, but right? trying to get a little bit of everything here. What parts of the goat head did you pull the meat from? The cheeks? The cheeks? Okay. I'm, I'm yeah. back here. Back on the mandible. Mm -hmm. so, so delicious, Jeffrey, seriously. You've kind of made the basket disappear. Which I that think was is the best basket. thing you could do. Well, the basket ingredients themselves were not pretty to look at necessarily, but the flavor so much. Well, they were pretty to look at too. That shisha was pretty to look at. Okay. And I th I'm sorry, those goat heads were beautiful. Your treatment of the mushrooms is, is one of my favorite things about this. I well, love it. These these mushrooms, bluefoots, they're kind of leathery. No. And they're dry, so I just put them in with a stick of butter. And let them coffee almost, just like sort of cooking butter. Just one. No, because they need it, yeah. and and then they sort of they kind of brown at the end when they're they're done. They give it up and they just like brown. I love you, Jeffrey. This is delicious. Thank yeah, you, hon. Absolutely. So, Alex, it's nice to see you smiling. When you're cooking, I you were that. so focused. There's no smiling. There's no playing around. Not like these two jokers. You were just like a ninja. What do we have here? I made a uh, haladet and a goat head meatball with goat cheese and put in a little bit of uh, coconut milk with green apple and dill and a little bit of the mushrooms. Oh. Dig it in. And a really tender meatball, you can tell. Delicious. Because it's light. What did you use to bind it? The goat cheese and what else? I made the meatball and it was too wet, so I added a little bit of the plain breadcrumbs. But it's just goat cheese and mayonnaise, dill, cilantro. It's like a matzo to me, and it's delicious. Yeah. So, and what it does is it soaks up the juice so wonderfully. I, uh, the pine nuts I was hoping would be crunchier. In all honesty, I think this needs more textural variety. The apple is crispy, but it needs a little bit more. The apple also balances the cheese and the, the, all the, several of the other richness. There's rich a lot elements. of poblano, and I put some chili arbol in here, but you barely get it. I, I think it's tell delicious. You. Love the dill. I uh, love the dill, especially. Dill. Chris, what do we have? I made what I'm calling a butcher's cut panini. It was the uh, goat cheeks and tongue, as well as the meat from the holidets, crispy bacon and smoked gouda, with a shisho mayo, with a little uh, goat head au jus, and a salt and vinegar potato. Everyone just take a, a section and dip and go. Mm. I like that malt vinegar powder on the uh, potato. Mm -hmm. Very good. You know what that reminds me of? It's like a steak au poivre sauce. Mm -hmm. Mustard? Mm -hmm. That's what I like. The mustard and the cheese with this particular meat mm. is really what the meat needs. Mm. This is boom. Yeah, if you're going to scale Mount McKinley, this, this is, is the way to go. Mountainously rich. Yeah, very, very rich. Amazing. Sitting here eating this, I'm happy with my effort, but I probably would have left the gouda off because it's so rich. That meat is so rich, and this, and this broth oh, like is so it, rich. I like the gouda. No, my favorite mm -hmm. thing about the sandwich is the what cheese. the gouda and the mustard really? does with the meat. Excellent. Good times with goat heads here in the Chopped Kitchen. Great job. Amazing dishes. Thank, Thank you, you very Ted. much. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, guys. Cheers.
We are having a great time with these After Hours videos, and we hope you keep watching them. Go to foodnetwork.com slash chopped.